Christy for the Heritage Trust. We've got um, father and son, both play for Nomferma. We've got Kevin Hegarty and Ryan Hegarty. So welcome both to East End Park. Cheers, good to be back. Um, I'll start with you first, Kevin. Okay. Um, you were signed during season 78, 79 um, from East Fife. Um, by Harry Mills. That's correct, yeah. 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 You were quite a prolific um, goal scorer for East Fife, I believe. Um, are you then going to say that I wasn't for Dunfermline? <laughs> <Dunfermian? laughs> <laughs> 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 uh, no, you scored as No, I had a really good spell um, at East Fife, loved it. Um, I loved Fife in general, you know, mm. and um, then when I had the chance to move to Dunfermline, uh, it seemed a step up for me at the time, which it was. Um, Dunfermline goes quite a uh, way back in my history because uh, as a young guy I was across here um, watching games but also um, there was other sort of festivals uh, held at uh, East End when I was a kid so I was always uh, acquainted with it and I loved just the feel of it. Um, it helped because Edinburgh was quite a good ground for, um, for players of Dunfermline. Resulting from that you had travelling companions uh, so it was a, it was a real good opportunity for me mm -hmm. at the time, mm -hmm. and I had absolutely no no regrets at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I loved it, I loved it because uh, it was in those days twenty five minutes across, um, so it was ideal. And I lived always in the West Edinburgh, mm -hmm. it made it easy. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. So who did you travel with? Who was your um, travelling company? Well, there was quite a number. Um, Paul Donnelly, mm -hmm. um, uh, Boner. Mm -hmm. Bonner Mercer and uh, Walter Bothwick, mm -hmm. uh, quite a few then were the guys, um, I think of some of the others. Uh, I, I had to try and refresh my memory this morning because uh, getting 68 now and getting a bit older mm -hmm. um, and not meeting the guys so often, yeah. you tend to lose track. Uh, but there was a good, um, there was also, um, I'm trying to think of the guy who sadly died very young, uh, but a whole um, uh, oh, Ian Hall. Ian Hall. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the era and that was the time. So it was a good mix, big salt, salt mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's no beginning to remember now. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, when you were here, uh, Mike Leonard was here. Mike Leonard. Um, oh, what a goal fun. scorer. Mm -hmm. Um, so did you make a lot of his goals? All of them, I would think, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mikey Leonard, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I must find out what's happened to him. Mm -hmm. He was just a profit goal scorer. Mm -hmm. um, just a habitual goal scorer. Probably never got the recognition in, in football that he maybe deserved. Yeah. Uh, but I also re remember at that time, uh, the football was sponsored by a whiskey company. And I remember you, you got a carton for every heart trick or every time somebody scored a heart trick, everybody got a carton of whiskey. Mm -hmm. I hate whiskey, so no good to me. But I remember getting loaded up with this whiskey for some <laughs> strange reason. It was it was quite strange, uh -huh. but I attached to football. Yeah. But it might got us a right few bottles of whiskey. Yeah, aye, because he scored quite a few heart tricks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also played with Sandy McNaughton, who mm -hmm. also, once again, underrated player. Mm -hmm. Loved playing with Sandy. And Kenny Thompson, Mm -hmm. uh, he was well known in Dunfermline. Yeah, that's right. Great, great servant to Dunfermline. Mm -hmm. But it was good, it was good times. Yeah. Your first season here, we actually won promotion because when you came, we were in the second division. Right. And then we won, won promotion to mm -hmm. the first. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it must have been uh, good celebrations then. Yeah. Um, I, I think that that season plus the season I think eighty when we beat Falkirk to go up to the then think first mm -hmm. division uh, was fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, I think we were, we were a good side. We held our own. I can't remember getting overly many droppings, you know, because uh, we had good quality with Hugh White and goals and mm -hmm. um, we had a good back four or back three, whatever. Um, strong players, uh, just a good mix. And Harry Mayer was. Um, he was a good manager, he was a nice, I found him quite a gentle man, uh, but good manager. And then mm -hmm. I think he went all for a wee while with Andy Rowland. That's right, yeah. Yeah, who was an absolute hoot, it was a <laughs> laugh. Um, and then I think we had Tam Forsyth uh, and uh, uh, Pat Stanton. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so I played under some good managers mm -hmm. uh, and I really enjoyed it. Were they all different? Were, you know? Oh, vastly different. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because you started off with Harry, and then yeah. he, as you said, he went. He was ill, and yes. Andy Rowland came yeah. in, 
and was player manager for yeah. the fire. I couldn't ever understand what Andy was saying. He had a sort of, I don't know if Andy's from a Dundonian or, or a Fifer, but he had a, a dialect that nobody understood. Um, but he was good, good company, good laugh. Um, and then, I'm not sure if it was then Tam for Scythe. No, Pat Stanton. Pat Stanton. Mm -hmm. Pat was um, quite droll and I had played against um, Pat when I played with Hearts mm -hmm. and him being an Edinburgh man I knew him fairly well. Mm -hmm. So uh, his banter and George Stewart as well, he was assistant, it was good, it was a good team. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think Pat had the success as a manager that he did as a player. No, which is times off in the way actually, oh, you can have really, yeah. be really good yeah. as a player but as a manager you're not. Yeah. That, that is, that's totally for sure. Good. As um, Jock Steen would test, he's the opposite. He was a great manager mm -hmm. and yet a, a stuffy player, but not a great player. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we had some laughs. Because mm -hmm. in those days, um, football was serious on a Saturday. I, I, I get the feeling that training wasn't so intense. Mm -hmm. it, there was a lot of fun, a lot mm -hmm. of hilarity. And we were a good mix of Fifers and Edinburgh boys. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of banter there. Mm -hmm. So where did you train? Did you train? Mainly at the ground. At the ground. Uh, I, although I can remember going along to at Lindburn on a number of occasions, mm -hmm. but it was mainly around the track. Mm -hmm. And it always seemed to be raining, you know, I always <laughs> remember dark, cold nights. <laughs> um, but it was hard. Because at, at the time that you were here, we'd had the highs in the si of the 60s. Yeah. And then we started to go downhill in the, sure. the beginning of the 70s. Yeah. And we were still maybe not that good, but uh, picking up a bit. I, I think we were on the way up. Yeah, yeah without a doubt. Um, Every club seems to go through this unless you're, you know, a Celtic or Rangers, mm -hmm. or Rangers it's happened to them. But um, it happens to the smaller clubs um, mm -hmm. more often. Um, yeah, peaks and troughs and um, change of manager, change of direction, board, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, I think that's the nature of football unless mm -hmm. you're in the big money league in, as, as it is in England, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, but it was great. I mean, there was it was competitive football, um, and being the size I am, mm -hmm. um, it was quite hard because mm -hmm. um, there was some tough guys out there. You know? I was going to say, who did you? Um, who was your most difficult opponent? You well, know, um, against? probably. You, play, you played on the. I I, I played up front, or either wide or through yeah. the middle. Mm -hmm. um, everybody seemed to be, but um, one of the hardest guys actually is a member of the film and. Um, to this day, and that's Roy Barry. <laughs> he was my manager at uh, East Fife for a short while, mm -hmm. and uh, um, playing against him in a practice game was something to behold. <laughs> Seriously, um, but it was great grounding, and uh -huh. for somebody as slight as as me and all other players, mm -hmm. um, you, you had to hold your own. So it toughened you up, and it was it was a good education. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Who did you enjoy playing against, team wise? Um, well, um, prior to coming to Dunfermline, when I was with Hearts, um, mm -hmm. Celtic were the team I played against, because uh, my, my debut game I had scored against them, and then I had a habit of scoring against them, I scored probably in total about seven or eight times against them, mm -hmm. with these Fife and Dunf uh, and uh, Hearts, mm -hmm. um, so it was like one of these clubs you just for some reason, mm -hmm. um, I don't understand it, and a lot of people don't understand why you have a team that you play well against. But they were my main, mm -hmm. they were my main team that I played well against. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, enjoyed scoring against anybody, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I've got some good memories of some mm -hmm. goals. Although they tend to go into the distant past, you know, unless somebody reminds you of them. Yeah. But when you came to Dunfermline, as I said earlier, that you know you were, you know, you had been a prolific goal scorer with East Fife. When you played with Dunfermline, did you play in a different position to then what you had played with East um, Fife and was it a different yeah. type of game? Uh, probably the same role, um, mm -hmm. different personnel. I, I think, to be honest, there were players when I came to Dunfermline that were better than me, so I'd probably gone from being a prolific, maybe kingpin mm -hmm. at East Fife to a degree, mm -hmm. to maybe taking playing second fiddle. Um, I would think so, because the guys like Michael Leonard, um, there was a guy called um, uh, O'Hara, uh, mm -hmm. he played, he scored a lot of goals, Sandy could score goals, so I think it was distributed amongst the team mm -hmm. a bit more evenly, you know, mm -hmm. um, so there, therefore, but I did play more or less the same position. Yeah, Colin, would you call him a 
Colin, Colin O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, Colin played. Uh, he played more left wing. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a lovely player. Uh, and there was also a guy who astounded everybody when he came here. His name is Mark Williamson. Um, mm -hmm. I think he was um, he was attached to the Royal Navy at Rosyth, and mm -hmm. he came and played in the left wing, and he was like. Nobody could believe how good this guy was, mm -hmm. and he did well for us. Yeah. He? And he was exciting to play with and to watch. You know. uh -huh. Yeah, and then latterly, um, I suppose towards the end of your time here, you had um, Stevie Morrison and Grant Jenkins. Would have Stephen Morrison, it. yeah, that's right. Aye, uh, Grant Jenkins. He went on to play. Um, who did he go on to? Was it right. was it Falker? He, he played at high level, but he was um, Shaggy. We nicknamed him because mm -hmm. he was like Chapman Scooby Doo. <laughs> I remember that uh, unfashionable kind of player, looking player, mm -hmm. but what a player! Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember that. So just to re yeah. regenerate my thoughts there. And of course, you had Nori here as well. Nori McCarthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lovely guy, Edinburgh guy, mm -hmm. um, and I, I take responsibility for his debut because. I believe I was either suspended um, uh -huh. or dropped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll say it was suspended, um, uh -huh. and he made he he was Pat Stanton, I believe, put him in my place, uh -huh. and not my position, but in my place. Yeah, and yeah. uh, the rest is history. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, the tragedy is just unthinkable. Uh -huh. But a lovely guy, loved uh -huh. him, loved him. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any particular match that? Um, you can remember that stood mm. out for you while you were here. Um, there was a number, but I think probably um, the Falkirk game when we got promotion to the, the old First Division. Mm -hmm. um, for the, the occasion, it was against Falkirk. It was here, I believe we won 2-1. Mm -hmm. um, it was just a high. Mm -hmm. uh, that was tinged with tragedy as well because uh, one of the groundsmen sadly died on the night. Mm -hmm. And so from being a real high on that occasion, mm -hmm. uh, we were plummeted into the depths of uh, sadness yeah. with mm -hmm. the, 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 the groundsman mm -hmm. dying. Yeah. But, uh, but the game was intense, it was noisy, it was naughty, it was had everything. Mm -hmm. everything, you, <laughs> everything you like to attach to a good Scottish mm -hmm. game. Yeah. It was great, loved uh -huh. it. Who, who then did you enjoy playing with? As a, um, as a team, uh, team wise, yeah. uh, who who is yeah. my favourite team? Uh, no, who, who within the team? Within the team, yeah. Um, I, I liked Sandy McNaughton. I just thought he was a stylish player. Mm. Um, Paul Donnelly, I liked. I liked Paul Donnelly because Paul had a, a rawness to him, um, hard, hard player, mm. um, but also had a you know high high skill factor. Um, mm. And Big John Salt and guys like that, who <coughs> tough, um, hard-working players, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, it should be a team game, and mm -hmm. uh, although I've mentioned these guys, yeah. they were all good. Mm -hmm. um, and I think probably underrated a lot of them. Yeah. Was a good camaraderie then within the team? It was great. And um, the Fifers versus the, the Edinburgh uh, City Slickers, as we were called, because <laughs> we dressed differently. Um, there was a lot of banter, um, uh -huh. a lot of kid on, kidology, and it was great. Uh -huh. um, it's, the, it's the one thing you do miss when you eventually have to pack in playing football, uh -huh. um, is the, the banter of the players, and Ryan would tell you that. Uh -huh. um, it it's, takes a bit of adjusting uh -huh. to sort of go back to like Civvy Street, as it were, you know. Uh -huh. uh, so when you left Dunfermline, um, I take it um, it was because you were... Um, not getting played as often and you're going yeah. so you still wanted to play it yeah. obviously ever game. Yeah. I, I got um, an opportunity, I think I ended up going to Brecon, I think it mm -hmm. was. I, I I knew I think if you're being honest with yourself, you know um you know when you're on your way out. Mm -hmm. And um I wasn't able to play as well for Dunfermline as I thought mm -hmm. and I'm sure as hell the manager thought <laughs> that as well. <laughs> so resulting from that, um I, did, I got a decision to I, I uh -huh. decided to go to Brecon, which was good. It was, but it was a it was a gra gradual decline. <coughs> I think I ended up at Berwick Rangers, uh -huh. and, and then for some stupid reason in the pub one Thursday night, a friend of mine who had a junior team. I was I was doing nothing at that time. Uh -huh. Says, 
I forgot to register. Would you play on the Saturday? And I, sadly, I said, yeah. And I ended up playing in a, a junior game to finish my career completely. No, oh, right. But, um, Only one game? Well, um, a guy got his leg broken in the first minute. Oh, right, OK. Uh, and there was a fight on the park. And I thought, nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was time to give up. Um, and then that was sadly the end of it. But mm -hmm. at 35, 36, it mm -hmm. was a good innings, you know. So did you keep in touch with football, either that, or was um, it through Ryan that well, you kept in touch? Well, through Ryan we'd done Fairman, but my wee brother <coughs> Paul Heger, mm -hmm. we'd done the United. He mm -hmm. and he was always um, he was then moving on to management as well. So I, we've always been football mad in the family, mm -hmm. and um, so football's in our blood, and it'll never. Mm -hmm. you, you take in the odd game, meet the odd guy in the pub, and mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. a wonderful game, mm -hmm. and now. My grandson's playing and my granddaughter's playing with his ladies, so so it's <laughs> carrying on and Ryan's got a youngster, hopefully he'll play football. Uh -huh. So it's just, yeah, it's in our blood. Yeah, good. Well, to maybe speak to you, Ryan, because you came in 1995 as um, a youngster from Dundee United. Yes. And yeah, yeah. Um, signed by Bert. Yes, yeah, it was, yeah. Uh -huh. So how did... Uh, it was, um, it was interesting come from... Dun United because mm -hmm. they were rivals in the league at that mm -hmm. time. So I think I played against uh, Don Fellman in a reserve game mm -hmm. here right. um, Wednesday night. And I played very well. Mm -hmm. And I think um, Bert, Dick Campbell, had obviously thought, maybe we'll look at him. He's not, Dun United were still obviously with Don Fellman, mm -hmm. big teams, yeah. they're a lot of uh, experienced players. Um, so I wasn't. So I was young, I think I was about 18 at the time, so uh -huh. I was kind of just uh, 18, 19, pushing my way. Uh -huh. I wasn't getting anywhere at United, so I got the uh, opportunity and then, I think it was in maybe October, November, mm -hmm. uh, I jumped at the challenge, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So that was, that was our um, a promotion winning season, that yes, one? Yes, yeah, um, yeah. So you, I suppose you came at the right time, <laughs> yeah, in a way. Definitely did, yeah. But, um, and you actually got, was it three? I think it was three or four um, first-team appearances. I got a few games um, mm -hmm. to begin with, but I think with the way it was deemed, I was put down as a trialist. My name wasn't even on the team oh, sheet right, okay. for my first game, uh -huh. which I think was my, been against St Johnson mm -hmm. at McDermott, mm -hmm. um, which yeah. was interesting, because mm -hmm. even when they were reading the name out with loudspeaker, it was number 11 trialist, so <laughs> I didn't you know, even get my name read out, you know. So mm -hmm. that was quite a funny debut. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, it was it was uh, it was good to, to see a few starts, and I came off the bench a few times as well mm -hmm, that's right. before I think home injuries started. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Well, yeah, because um, I mean that season, obviously ninety five, ninety six, it was it's it's a season in our club's history that, yeah. that kind of will always be there yes, for yeah. the whole. The whole season for what yeah, happened. For everything, yeah. For everything that happened between the amount of injuries and yeah. changes that yeah. were had to the team, yes. um, between Norrie dying yeah. and then, yeah. you know, um, the team going, it was, and we were up against yeah. Dundee United, yes. and it was, it was, you mm -hmm. know, yeah, nip it, and tuck it that was whole very, season. Well, the whole, I think the whole season between Morton were up there mm -hmm. as well. That's right. I think obviously in the last game of the season, Morton. Dungeon United or ourselves. I think mm -hmm. ourselves or United could have won the league, but mm -hmm. Dungeon United or Morton could have came second, depending on the results. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the whole season was it was as you say a very interesting one for some very sad reasons mm -hmm. and for good reasons yeah, in the end. You know, right. even, but mm -hmm. uh, got a lot of memories from it. Yeah. yeah. Even that first were, season, you know. Were you up at Dundee United then for that particular game, the game that we won one 0 Um yes, I was in the stand. I think I don't think I was in the squad, I'm not sure, but I certainly had the blazer on. Mm -hmm. So I must have been probably in the squad. Yeah. Uh, but just in the in the so eighteen, not mm -hmm. on the subs bench, but mm -hmm. um so we were in the stand, yeah, when we beat United one 0 Yeah. Um the lovely summer or spring day, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And again the Pars fans mm -hmm. uh, were out in huge numbers. Great, mm -hmm. great memories. And mm -hmm. it is, again, it, we had to really beat United that day. Or draw with them would have been a no mm -hmm. bad result. But I think we beating them was just yeah. spurred us on that, that uh -huh. bit more as well, yeah. even more so. Yeah, a very important game that. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. And then, of course, the last game of the season was... Yes. <laughs> yes. That was uh, interesting. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, as I say, must win. If we won, we'd win the league. Mm -hmm. um, so, a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of pressure on the, on the, on the, the squad. Mm -hmm. I think we, we didn't play as good as we could off that day. Mm -hmm. But we, obviously, history tells we got the result. Yeah. Uh -huh. Deserved probably. But Airdrie yeah. were actually... A not bad side. They were a good side. That's right. And they gave us a difficult game. Obviously, equalised. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's why it was like, oh, no, what's happening? <laughs> but then the penalty with Moody. Yeah. Uh, Alan, we were going through, going uh -huh. past uh, I think Andy, Andy Rhodes, Rhodes mm -hmm. and bring them down. Mark my mother, so to score, <laughs> but no pressure on them at all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, brilliant. Uh -huh. so, yeah. But what was the that, what was the squad like? Great, great. Um, like my dad was saying earlier about the mix, there was a lot of Edinburgh boys, mm -hmm. there was a lot of guys from Glasgow, the West, mm -hmm. a few Fifers, mm -hmm. so it, it was a mix. Um, but I think um, very tight knit, obviously with what happened with mm -hmm. Norrie, mm -hmm. um, I, think, I, th I think it helped bring us closer together even more mm -hmm. uh, because of the tragic events. But mm -hmm. Um, we were quite tight unit anyway, okay. uh, and a good side, mm -hmm. very good side. Yeah. There must have been a lot of pressure probably on Craig Roberts and then at that. I think Robo, yeah, um, with him being with him and Norwich have been the, cap, the mm -hmm. club captains, mm -hmm. um, and then with him taking over the mantle solely with with what mm -hmm. happened, uh, a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. and uh, he took it on board, mm -hmm. and more. He was brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, with, with, in every respect, um, he was brilliant, with bringing the guys together, helping the, even the younger guys mm -hmm. with what happened. Um, I was, he was great at that time, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah a lot of respect for Craig. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then obviously we were winning promotion then, we were in the <coughs> Premier League. Yeah, yeah. Which probably made it more difficult for you then yeah. to get in the team, because <coughs> when I was looking back, you know, even the likes of Stuart Peary yeah. and um, I think it was a, a Guido and Westy, yeah. they were even in the reserve team yes. as well. So yeah. there was a lot, of, a, lot of know, competition. a lot of the guys that had helped bring yeah. them up yes. were playing in the reserve yeah. team. Yeah, I think well. that, so uh, does it make it more difficult for I you? I think it did, yeah. Um, we had a lot of experienced players, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me, but um, my position obviously was Alan Muir. Mm -hmm. Was a great player. Mm -hmm. Where he was a excellent player. Um, I was injured a lot as well. Didn't help sometimes. Mm -hmm. No excuses. <laughs> but um, it did make it more difficult. Yeah. We signed a few players because we had to because we were in the Premier. That's right. Um, but even then, it was it was good times still. You know, obviously the big 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 crowds coming to mm -hmm. East End Park with the the Premier League and that. Yeah. But it did maybe make it a wee bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, but still. Even even just being part of it all was still great, mm -hmm. still good, yeah. mm -hmm. still enjoyed it. Yeah, because um, you were quite quick. Yeah. The right there. Yes, I, yeah. I was pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you take that off your back? <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I was quite quick. Yeah, Dad was quick and a nippy player yeah. as well, uh -huh. because um, Dad was obviously he was more of a, a class as a striker. That was always more a wide right mm -hmm. uh, in a four or, 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 mm -hmm. or a three. But, um, so I was always a winger, so I had to try and be direct, get the balls into mm -hmm. the box. So, yeah, but I was, I was quick, I was fast, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's what I kind of remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes too fast, I didn't know what I was doing half the time. <laughs> so, when you left on Fairland, yeah. did you. Was it Livingston? You went Livingston, to? yeah, went to Livingston. Again, uh, there's a pattern emerging here, I think it was a reserve game for... <laughs> I think it was a reserve game for Dungeon United before I joined mm -hmm. Dunfermline, so maybe a couple of years prior to that. Mm -hmm. I played against, I think they were, I think they were, they might have still been Meadowbank. Mm -hmm. I don't right. know, we played at Meadowbank mm -hmm. against them. But um, I think um, the manager at the time had inquired and said that he's a young guy, whatever. Mm -hmm. But they'd remember me from there. I think I came to play against them, and Leash was like, would you mind mm -hmm. bringing oh, Ryan to Livingston? Yeah. And he uh -huh. was the, the manager at Livingston, I think. Yeah, uh -huh. obviously with the family connection. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I went there, and but on to me at the time, that's when 
I'd, I'd already fractured my back. I was going to so say, you had a set. serious injury. Yeah, so the, I think um, I was always getting pulled muscles and I could right. never get to the bottom of things. I had three knee operations as well. Uh -huh. So in my sort of four or five years as a player, I had three knee operations, oh, right. you know, um, and this the back injury, which was undetected uh -huh. at the time, right. which was um, making things more difficult uh -huh. for me getting fit and, and uh -huh. stuff like that, unfortunately. But Mm -hmm. So things. did you then finish your career at Livingston? Yeah, finished at Livingston, yeah. Right. Played a few a few games, um, but I think uh, I don't think the chairman was very happy because they had signed me. We played a pre-season tournament at Almond Vale Stadium mm -hmm. at the time, and I played really well. Mm -hmm. And then I think uh, my knee went. <laughs> 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 Again. Um, and obviously it was the yeah. private health care that Livingston had to pay for. Yeah. I think, I remember the chairman at the time wasn't happy. Right. Forgotten his name now. Surely she would be able to tell yeah, us his name. Uh -huh. He'd been Bill Hunter. Yeah. Uh -huh. He wasn't happy. He was thinking we've seen this guy and he's uh -huh. getting an operation. He's no fit. But nobody knew the underlying. And uh -huh. obviously it was my back, it was my knee. But I was uh -huh. just unfortunate. But from there, I couldn't get fit again. Right. <laughs> Didn't seem I could get fit again. Right. Uh, so you must have been quite young then when you finished playing. Twenty-two. Mm -hmm. I was twenty-two. Really quite young. Yes, it was young. Yeah. So. Was that um, a huge disappointment for you? It was uh, massive. Um, just with the, the, the family, with mm -hmm. Uncle Paul, mm -hmm. Dad, um, playing a good, great standard, high standard. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew I could maybe not be as, as emulate them as much, but I would definitely play mm -hmm. at a good level. Mm -hmm. To have it sort of taken, taken away, away, it was a bit, it was very disappointing. But um, mm -hmm. I was given the, the, the kick up the, the bottom. <laughs> Get on with it, you know, you're still healthy, yeah. you're fit enough, uh -huh. get out there and, you know, you know, get something else that you can yeah. do. Uh -huh. um, I, in hindsight, maybe we would have wanted or to stay in football, uh -huh. but I took a different different road at that time and, uh, you know, it is uh -huh. what it is, yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> but then you can always look forward to the next generation. Yes, of course, yeah, uh -huh. I've got uh, a girl and a boy and... Um, yeah, there we'll see. There's no pressure. <laughs> if they do, they do. You know, uh -huh. or if a friendly does. Uh -huh. uh, Anya's into hockey, but um, mm. she was probably a better footballer. She was. She liked her football <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah, not so much. But he's young. Uh -huh. So um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. So is this your first time back at Novemberland since you left? Um, I come along. I just live along the road now. Um, oh, do you? Yes, I, we moved over here about eight or nine years ago. Me and my wife. Right. Uh, so we're just along the road. So me and my daughter, Anya, so come along. Come, them. come along to the games in the Norrie McCarthy stand. Yeah, yeah. Um, when we can. Uh -huh. um, not not as much as we'd like. Yeah. But we do. We come there and again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Always have an affiliation. Yeah. yeah. So I like good. it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. So apart, you would. Have, are you come? Do you come as well? Yeah. Yeah. Come occasionally again, come across. Yeah. 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 Um, and then a few months back, Ziggy got in touch with me, Jim Bowie, so he, did, he tracked me down, you know, and he told me about all these great times they've been having uh -huh. in my absence. Uh, however, uh, yeah. I, I come across, um, spend the day with Ryan, yeah. come to a game, it's great. Uh -huh. Getting amongst the fans, it's, <laughs> it's great. The banter's still there, you Is know. Is it still there? Oh, it's, it's still there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's something to yeah. Be. <laughs> yeah. And, and long may that continue because yeah. Durfermann's always been known for having a, a good, healthy support mm -hmm. and certainly vociferous support. Mm -hmm. yeah, love it. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, that's it's been really good speaking to you. Thank you. It's nice really talking to you. Seeing you again. Yeah. 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 It's been Great. Really good. Just looking forward to today's game. You know. Well, yeah. Well, hopefully we'll oh, yeah. three points. Hopefully. hopefully. Good. Yeah. 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 We, need, we need it as well. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, on behalf of the Heritage Trust, thank you very much for speaking to us. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.